Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. If you looked on my page and saw a couple days ago I posted some beautiful zucchini spiralized noodles that we used for a pasta dinner and it was fantastic. So now my garden has grown some more zucchini and it's time to spiralize again so I'd love to show you how. First of all I'm going to talk about the spiralizer itself. This is the spiralizer that I use and I love it. It's got suction cup feet so you can firmly plant it to the surface and it won't move on you. It's got removable um, cutting blades and you can use the one for whatever shape and thickness of spiralized um, vegetables that you would like to use. This is the attachment that I use most often. and. The other slicing units are stored conveniently below. Um, you can rinse and wash this out by hand really fast or you can put it in the top rack of the dishwasher. This is where you're gonna, it's going to grab your vegetable firmly and this little part here is going to make that core that the spiralizer will sp um, spiral your vegetable around this core. So let me just show you <laughs> what you will get at the end of your spiralizing. Today um, I spiralized a summer squash and a carrot. So here's the cores from that and you can um, get creative and figure out what you would like to do with these cores. Um, put your comments below and tell me what you've decided to do or what you think you'd like to do with these core pieces after you're done spiralizing. So. Today I'm going to show you or talk about two ways to um, use your spiralized vegetables. So here we go. I'm going to put in the summer squash and I affix it to the little pokers and then I press it right into that little core maker firmly. And one thing I like about this spiralizer is that it cranks by hand but it goes really fast and easy. There's a handle right here on the opposite side that you use to push gently with, and then all you do is crank. So here I go, I'm pushing gently on the handle, and I'm cranking. And you can start to see, coming out, the spiralized summer squash. And it looks just beautiful, and it's curvy uh, and lovely. So when I pull it back, there's how you get your core. Okay, and I'm going to try a carrot next. So I've, I've cut all of the vegetables in half lengthwise because I think it's more manageable to spiralize um, with just something that's maybe half as long uh, as it grows. So I've cut the carrot in half. I cut the zucchini and the summer squash in half too. So I'm just going to adjust the, uh, the webcam a little bit so you can see better. And... Here we go with the carrot. And the carrot is a firmer vegetable, so you might have to push a little more firmly on this um, spiralizer to get it to come through. And there are my pieces of carrot. There's my little carrot core. The last one we're going to do today is zucchini, but you can spiralize jicama, sweet potato, um, let's see, rutabaga, turnips, regular uh, potatoes, Idaho potatoes, and just about any kind of uh, vegetable that is firm enough to go through the spiralizer. So here we go with zucchini, and we just get that lovely green color and this is just such a healthy thing to do you can use it in place of pasta um, and for those of you that have a gluten sensitivity um, this is a great way to feel like you're getting a pasta dish without actually eating real pasta so and this is the core from the zucchini I want to show you the lovely vegetables um, after they've been spiralized. So I'm pulling them, the rest of the zucchini off, and here we've got just 
a mountain of beautiful spiralized vegetables. One good thing to do and really healthy thing to do with your vegetables after you spiralize them is to pat them completely dry with paper toweling or cheesecloth dish towel and then put them in a container in the refrigerator and crisp them overnight. You will have a lovely spiralized salad that you can dress with a homemade dressing. You can add a little shaved parmesan, some other vegetables to it, and it'll be really nice, beautiful, crisp, uh, spiralized salad that you can eat and your family will enjoy. Another thing that you can do with your spiralized vegetables is you can cook them like pasta. Um, it takes two minutes to cook them. So in a pot of boiling water with a little salt and olive oil added, put your spiralized vegetables in there, cook them for about two minutes. Zucchini might even be a little bit less if you're doing, doing just zucchini. Drain them over a sieve as you would with pasta noodles. Um, and then dress them really lightly with olive oil or toss them with some uh, homemade pesto, salt and pepper, add a few other vegetables if you like, and it's a beautiful pasta dinner. Thank you for watching. See you next time.